Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be breaking down the brand new release images of the new PUBG 8x8 map, Teigo, or codenamed Tiger. All right, now first things first, let's head over to my buddy Player IGN's Twitter channel where he posted apparently a little bit ahead of time uh, some of these leaked images that the PUBG partners were getting and I think they were NDA'd on when they could talk about it. Now, I, of course, I'm not a PUBG partner, so I wasn't, uh, I didn't have access to any of these images prior to, you know, player IGN posting it or any of these uh, other partners posting it. Having said that, the images I will show you are going to be a little bit Twitter compressed, so they're not going to be, you know, the best quality that you could see. If you're looking for the best accurate images, head over to Wacky Jackie's YouTube channel. Go look at his latest video that he posted eight hours ago. And he has uh, those videos or those photos rather, I think in 1440p. So just a little bit uh, crisper, a little better resolution for you. But anyway, so if we go to the first image that uh, IGN posted, it looks to be another airfield, kind of like what's on Sandhawk, but you know, a little bit more updated, a little more modern, not just a, a kind of a grassy field. And what's really interesting here is that you already see a new type of plane smack dab in the middle of the runway. And this is from what I can gather closest to a Cessna 172 airplane. And it looks pretty darn close uh, when you just kind of compare some Google images of a Cessna 172, the, you know, some blue stripes. And what would be really cool about this is uh, not only obviously would it be a new airplane, this does have four seats. I actually have flown one of these when I, uh, I don't know, I guess it was a couple of years ago, my girlfriend bought me this like flight instructor kind of course thing, or I say my girlfriend, my wife now, but you know, girlfriend at the time. And uh, it was really cool. So I got to actually fly the plane and you know, they're really slow. They're kind of rickety, but it really fits the vibe for PUBG, you know, and it, and it wouldn't be something that's like too fast. Cause I think it can only go like a hundred and 120 miles an hour, 130 miles an hour, which for, you know, for airplanes is not that fast. So if this is accurate and we can actually fly that with four seats, that is really, really, really cool. I'm looking forward to that. And one of the other images actually shows one on the runway and then one kind of parked, parked back here, which is cool. All right, and what else, what else can we gather from this image? I mean, honestly, just the, look at the, the vibe of the map. It screams Erangel, which I think all of us are gonna be really happy to see in here. So I can't wait to see this actually in game. The colors look great. I like how there's new types of buildings here. However, I guess I would voice my my initial concern is just that it's at least this particular area seems to be a uh, cut copy paste of a lot of the same building types. Like this one is the same building here, same building here, same building here, 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 here. So I, you know, maybe not too much variety, but it could just be this one particular area. Of course, we'll have to wait, you know, to see, see more images and gameplay. But overall, I'm loving the way it looks. I'm loving the color palette, more of this. All right, next up, we can only assume this is like the docks for uh, for Tiger. Now I'm gonna call the map Tiger because I am gonna butcher that pronunciation every time. So let's just keep it simple for me. And it's Tiger. Um, what's, what, what's it gather from here? So we have some lootable warehouses, uh, what, what appears to be a roof. So no grenades can come in there. Uh, we've got the small little shack that you loot, kind of similar to the southern uh, Erangel Island where you have the ferry pier that kind of pulls up and you have those small little one by one shacks you can kind of run in and loot real quick. So it seems to be, be pretty consistent there. And there's some more warehouses to loot. No images of like any boats or anything. So, I mean, we can only assume, you know, boats are going to be here, perhaps the jet skis, maybe even a ferry type system like we've seen on Erangel, but nothing to confirm based on these images here. All right, now this image here is probably the one that has the biggest question mark on it of all the images that they've shown in this teaser. First thing is that this image looks like it could be that island that everyone was uh, kind of speculating was like the Gulag Island. If you remember from their video they posted a few days ago, uh, go back to my Twitter. So this little top down map that PUBG posted, this little guy right here, a lot of people were speculating that this was the potential gulag island because it's like almost a perfect circle it had a little a couple buildings on it at least according you know to the map layout and people were thinking well when you die you get brought to this island you have to kind of fight your way out and that is their their revive mechanic that they'll be testing only on this map so th that's what the speculation was however i kind of think that could just be a spawn island like we have on erangel 
uh, which helps you know reduce load in times and stuff like that. But in addition, uh, this thing actually has a road on it, you know, which doesn't make much sense for a cut off island to have a road on it. So this could be that that image. It could be that bottom island. It very well could also not be, you know. So it's still kind of up in the air. Um, but obviously, it's a prison, prison yard concrete walls that have been broken out to let you go in and out so you're not um you know having choke points where you can only get in and out one way a lot of big buildings to loot so this is probably going to be a fun place to loot and fight uh early game of course if the plane goes that way because if it's way out in the corner of the map well then maybe not so much because landing more center of the map is obviously the smarter choice if you want to play for uh for end game for circle all right and then this next image actually brings us into what we can only assume is that prison because this is pretty clearly a prison and if we go here this is obviously the in interior of a prison now it does have this uh this open open section of the roof which uh wacky jackie pointed out that it's probably the back half of this building how it's kind of circular back here that's probably what we're seeing there because you got the the open ceiling and and then here the open ceiling so it only makes sense now what's curious to me though is is if this prison is going to be a lootable area kind of like how you know uh you have milta power and then you have that small milta power warehouse that's like multiple levels with a lot of the railings this kind of gives me those vibes there uh where it could just be another place to land and loot however with this being completely covered on top it almost makes me think you can't fly onto the roof and then drop down through it you know like obviously there's there's gratings here but I, we don't know how big these are if you drop in it can land on any surface or you just go you die when you land in there so maybe it's a way to prevent people from parachuting uh, in on top and dropping down maybe you have to go in from the bottom which would also further maybe implicate the fact that this could be some kind of gulag lo location i don't know a lot of speculation of course uh, but one thing I wanted to mention was if you remember, a, I think a week or, week or two ago, PUBG released a little video that showed what I thought was a new squad dragging mechanic. I got so many tabs. Sorry, guys. We go here. If we go, oh my God, I hate this thing auto plays like max volume. If we scroll in a little bit here, right here. So this little drag mechanic is you have one player here, one player here, and then a, a potentially downed player here being drug this could be the cinematic as you enter the PUBG gulag just like they have on call of duty this very well could be that cinematic or it could just be a little video clip of them showing uh hey you can now drag downed teammates so again speculation there but it's still really cool to to think about that hey we might have a drag mechanic or that might be a gulag type system i for one am not uh excited to hear if we have a gulag system although i am excited to test any kind of revive system that PUBG uh tests out this just looks beautiful man like this scenery the different color variations like just the the cover that you have for potential fights uh, all i all i'm picturing here is like esports fights where this is the final circle right so you think oh my god there's no cover to fight but look at look at how strategic this was designed hard cover by the truck you have a nice divot around all of these edges here so you can actually play any one of these edges assuming the back side of it's covered it goes up and then back down up and then back down so really you could have teams here here and here prone unable to see each other or fight each other and just kind of have those those slow playing smoke fights, very strategic peak fights. It's just really, really cool. And then of course, if this is a early game, you have access to a lot of high ground in the forest, uh, potentially a little ridge peak over here coming from this forest. And this is, you know, probably where the big town is like say the, the Pachinki of, of this area, but loving the vibes here, loving the vibes. Now, at first I thought this was a top down image of what we just saw, but this is actually a completely different area. It just uses similar designs and layouts. So you have a lot of the same little divots you can hide in here, but this is a totally different town. You have different buildings, similar trucks, but just in different locations. So again, I'm loving the vibe of it. It looks like it has some solar panels out here, which is kind of neat. That'd be an interesting place to fight in. And then of course, here's the, uh, the town. This part back here kind of reminds me of Erangel 
uh, behind the farm field, how you have like, those like few sets of buildings and then all the farm field. This maybe might need some more buildings here uh, because anyone who holds this hardcover kind of has easy access. I'm thinking for people coming this way, but um, you know, who knows? You kind of have to see, see the map in person to tell. Okay, next up is an actual school and it looks like maybe there is a little fair going on. I'll have to brush up on my uh on my language conversion to see what the heck any of this says but but yeah i think this area looks pretty cool we've got some old silver star tvs um some old cabinets or get refrigerator or cabinets maybe some old vehicles some bicycles you know, just some some junk kind of strewn about and then we have a two-story lootable school building which kind of gives you the vibes of a uh, hospital on erangel at least me it kind of has that that vibe to it looks like some, maybe some some side buildings that go down that way but uh probably a pretty cool area to fight in and then here we look like we're just kind of in some motel type area like this this some kind of office building or motel uh maybe some like greenery building over here and then you know just some random tents and whatnot uh truck that's always going to be smoking and then here's some cover in case you have to cross out of this open little field so still pretty cool again i just keep going back to the overall color palette i think it looks great a lot of Erangel vibes, which I think we're all going to be really happy to see when this thing goes live. And then we have a top-down version of that image I just showed you. And you know, I said it might be an office building, but now I'm seeing these big towers. This actually might be like a military base, like a, a forward operating base for whatever military stuff they got. Like the military tents, military trucks, these big towers. I guess it could be some kind of prison like prison yard type thing too, but I, I don't know. I'm, I, I lean a little bit more towards the military side of it. Not much else we can take away from the, the surrounding areas. Though. It looks like it kind of extends this way a bit. Some more of the towers over there, similar design buildings here and here. So maybe it kind of expands out. But what, what I think is kind of interesting here is that you see this little bit of water. I wonder if this is the little bit of water that they showed on, uh, on this map here. That volume got me again. Here, you see how the waterway kind of comes right down here and then stops? I wonder if that's what we're seeing here. Like if this is just kind of rotated a little bit and this is uh, the waterway or the mouth of the waterway leading into this area. I wonder if that's here, kind of leading in here and it's like it ends in a small little creek or something because it, it doesn't seem like it keeps going after that. Okay, next we have another just city town kind of setup. Uh, this one does not have any solar panels. It looks like it's just more kind of farm, like farm equipment, farmland. We've got quite a few uh, three-story buildings though with roof access, which I love those kind of fights in the city. So that that's pretty neat having those buildings there gives you overlook access to surrounding areas and then also obviously inside the city too. None of the buildings look crazy though. Everything seems to be pretty normal, like a couple big warehouses, a couple three-story buildings, a couple single-story buildings. So nothing out of the ordinary there. Now this one here seems like it would be a fun in-game fight. There is a lot going on here in terms of like cover potential and different, uh, different hills and nooks that you can play in and use as just the natural terrain. So you have all those same little defilades we we're talking about earlier here. So every one of these is their own little defilade, which you can use to potentially go prone, you know, and protect yourself from the other side of the hill. There's more hardcover in this one here with trees and vehicles and tractors, a couple buildings in between. And then if you look way over here, there's a, a what, one, two, three story, maybe with roof access. I don't know if you can get up there, but you know, these could be a good buildings or these could be good buildings to hot drop on and hold because you can kind of have oversight into the rest of the city. I'm liking that. And then in addition to that, we can kind of guess that these hills are going to have sight lines over to these roofs too. So maybe it's a counter, a counter to these roofs, kind of like how Sandhawk, if you land a uh, boot camp and you, you own the rooftop, you always kind of have to be weary of people playing the big hilltops and kind of counter sniping you there. So just some interesting points there. Here we have another farmland type image with uh, just a single tree and then some kind of, you know, gazebo type structure. So not much to really do. We're loot here. We have some water just kind of randomly put there. This will probably be an area that you don't really travel through too much. Uh, you may just drive right through it. But if you flip your vehicle like me, you might find yourself here more often than you, than you would think. Okay, and uh, almost done. Look, it's got more. Jeez, all these leaks. Uh, another farmland 
image leak. Maybe this is a, another version or another side of the map that we just saw because it looks like these little blue structures are what we saw over there, like little irrigation things or something. But again, overall, nothing crazy to see about the buildings except for this one here. This looks like a new type of building where you have staircase access from the outside up and then into the building. So that gives you a, another way to, to push the building, which I like. You don't have to have grenades. Like if you push this building here and they're peeking windows or they're peeking the rooftop, you really have to have grenades to push like frag grenades or something here, maybe a smoke grenade or a couple flashbangs and you can weasel your way up these staircases and then you get the high ground like that. All right, more and more farmland. That seems to be the, the typical theme for what we're going to see in this map. This could be that little gazebo we just pointed out a couple images ago. This may just be another version of, or another side of that map rather. But this, uh, this tall grass, is that scary or what? It looks like you can go prone in that and you can be completely covered. Like look at the size of it compared to this vehicle. I'm assuming you, your character's like standing this tall. You go prone, you are, you are inside of this grass. That's going to be scary for TPP players, I think. And then here we go, three more images. Is this PUBG's first waterfall? I think this might be PUBG's first waterfall, which is kind of scary because you know how deafening they make the water sound in PUBG. I mean, it looks great, but that's kind of that's kind of scary. Imagine trying to fight around this thing and just water constantly raining in your ears. And then these rocks, how easily can you vault these? I really hope they they spent a good amount of time perfecting these edges because it would really suck if someone was up here. And the only way to get to them was to run all the way around here and you couldn't just quickly, you know, jump, jump, jump and kind of get up there. Uh, oh, here is another version of the airfield I was telling you about earlier that showed the other airplane and just kind of gives you a more uh, wide open scenic shot of the rest of the surrounding area. Again, nothing crazy to point out. Looks like we have some electrical towers here connecting power lines kind of going throughout the the map but nothing nothing crazy to point out there this is another image of the school with the little fair they had going on so they do have some actual fighting opportunities out here in the field but this is not really a place you want to get caught at in especially with these chairs being here you can imagine that uh, you might want to take cover there but you could probably get shot through the middle of these seats and it's probably really hard to shoot back through them so probably not an ideal uh, attacking position. You really want to be coming from these outside edges, I'm assuming. All right. And so that's it for all the leaked images, but that's not all for PUBG news today. If we go over again to player IGN's tweets, he has another tweet that says the PUBG Korean promo site for Tiger and Project Reborn, where players can buy an exclusive t-shirt skin. So this exclusive t-shirt skin shows the, what I can only assume to be the prison tower here again. And it looks like there's hands holding the O and maybe the T, kind of like prison bars. So it seems like there's a lot of emphasis on the prison that we went through. Multiple images that very specifically show the, the prison. Then obviously these uh, t-shirt and poster propagandas that they're putting out with the prison. So this is very likely further hinting and or confirming about PUBG's attempt at a gulag type system uh, utilizing the prison. All right, and the last thing I have for you guys today is that PIGN said they're the new horror game Callisto Protocol is set in a black iron prison on Jupiter's moon. But in addition to that, Project Titan's new unannounced battle royale is made by the same studio. And he's kind of thinking that Project Titan is potentially PUBG 2, the new battle royale for PC and console, you can see here, because obviously this battle royale is PUBG New State, which is just PUBG Mobile 2.0. What I thought was interesting is that the de development studio is PUBG for Battleground New State, you know, PUBG Mobile 2.0, but the development studio for PUBG 2 is SDS, the same studio that's developing Callisto Protocol. Now, I know nothing about this studio, nor do I claim to be any kind of educated person in terms of game development. But if you just go to their Twitter profile uh, for SD Studios, Striking Distance Studios, they say that they are working hard at work on their very first game, Callisto Protocol. So their very first game is the new Callisto Protocol. 
And their second game is going to be the PUBG 2 Battle Royale. It, presumably, if, the, if these you know kind of leaks or guesses are, are, are assumed to be true. I don't, to me, that just makes me a little nervous, but I don't know. PUBG, I hope they know what they're doing with that one, you know? But uh, anyway, guys, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, some fun reviews of the new, uh, the new leaked images and just kind of our thoughts on the overall vibe of it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are looking forward to the map, now seeing what the actual map looks like in game. Of course, there's still a lot of question marks based on the revive system, how that's going to be. Let me know what you guys think about that as well. And I will see you guys in the next video, which is going to be my PCS4 Pick'em Challenge votes so that you guys can have, hopefully, the best chance at winning some esport points. When I post that video, it should go live tomorrow morning. You'll have about five days to get your votes in, about five days to get your votes in. So don't sleep on it. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new here. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with a buddy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.